Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Indivisible. Last time we left off, Kampan taught us how to get up there. Uh, well, she didn't, she didn't teach us how to get up there, she just kind of destroyed the block for us, I guess is a better way of putting it. And this time, we're gonna fight this giant blob. Whoa, it's like a weird, uh, golem. Wasn't expecting that. Wait, excuse me? We take damage from hitting that thing? I just realized that. Like, I was just watching the fight, and then I realized... Huh. It was doing damage to us. Wonder if that's intentional? Is that, is that supposed to happen? I mean, I have to assume it does. It's an alligator. Just chilling in the background. So yeah, I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end of this game now, actually. Ooh, there's our 13th ring cell as well. Excuse me, can I? No, that doesn't work, sadly. Great, another one of these enemies. Let's get up there before it can get its guard back up. Actually, this one might be a little bit long, so I think I will cut this one out. Well, there we go. There's that fight over. I just remembered that those enemies in particular do take quite a bit to kill. Although I have realized I haven't showed that particular color variant of that enemy. Maybe if we see them again, I'll actually show it. But that was four of them, so I didn't really want to show it there because... I mean, it didn't take that long, but... The fights with the guarding enemies usually take a tad bit longer than other things. Like I said, if we see one where there's not as many, then yeah, we can... Okay, Ajna almost killed herself doing that. That's so weird. Maybe this is the best way to do it? I mean, these enemies are pretty terrifying for that reason. Oh, okay. They only they only lower us to 1 HP, though. So we can't go below 1, so I can still combo the hell out of them even after I'm at 1 HP. Good to know. It's still kind of a terrifying enemy now. Weird golem blob enemies. Oh, I see you. I see you over there. You shouldn't be too bad to... Yeah, this is going to be a quick fight. Whoa. All the enemies are like this? Or all the, um, ones that have this weird little effect, I guess, is the best way to put it. It's weird. Huh. I'm not even really sure why they do that, and it's not exactly dangerous, because, well, unless we fight an enemy that's actually fast, then it might be a little bit dangerous. But as for now, no. Oh, okay. I thought I was trying to go up. I was not trying to go up. I was trying to go over here. Doesn't look like there's a ring cell. Hey, you made it. Let me bust through this thing for you as well. Can you teach me how to do that? Wouldn't that just make this process a lot easier? How'd you even get there? You went the same direction I did. <laughs> I have my ways. The Iron Kingdom is full of secret passages. You could have just told me about those. Mm, this is more dramatic. Now, time to smash! Yeah, I see. Don't don't read into that. That's cool, I guess. Are you sure about this, Kadira? I just want to point out I love Kampan's uh, default animation of her just kind of swinging the uh, giant fist with her uh, hands on her hips. That's a that's a neat animation. I like it. Mostly. Don't worry so much. Follow me. Sure thing, Kampan. What's over here, though? Anything? Just a wall? Why is that little nub even there? What purpose does it serve? What? Excuse me? There's Princess Mary. That was an awkward transition. Back, subjects. You don't understand. I did all this for you. I still like your uh, whole costume, Mary. You're still pretty cool, even if you were kind of weird earlier. We know the king was dead all along. We know you caused the slime! Ingrates, I made your lives better. This is my father's vision. I'm just doing what 
what he wanted! And besides, robots do half our work for us now. Don't you see you're better off? Depends if the robots are actually taking their jobs or not. Kompan! Hey! I guess you didn't lead us into a trap this time. That's something. Yeah, you're already like 100% better. Those days are over, I swear. I really do want to be your friend. Well... Okay, but I still owe you a smack on the head. Give it to her right now. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Prepare yourself. I can level entire cities, you know. Okay. Um, hold on a sec. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. Here it comes. Don't kill her, please. Are you bracing yourself? I am. I'm... I'm gonna be okay. Uh, she just booped her. She just booped her right on the nose, I'm guessing. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Look, see that? See? Once again. Friends again already? That's character growth. She didn't knock her the hell out. She just she just booped her. Yep. Good. It looks as though we'll need the help. True. No, listen! This is the Iron Kingdom's destiny. We are the ones who will defeat Kala. But if you don't stay back, so help me, I'll use my power to strike you down! I feel like there's a better way to appear, um, to your subjects rather than basically wearing, like, your underwear with some wire frames covering it. Huh, maybe that half of her is a robot, though, who knows? She looks like she has a couple of robo parts. Like, her torso looks robotic. Or it's just a metal corset, which honestly sounds incredibly uncomfortable. The situation looks really bad. It's bad. After you left, the slime got out of control. The people realized Mary had deceived them, and they revolted. Honestly, they're not wrong. Mary really messed up. But I think there's more to it. She got caught up in her father's vision, sure. But she just wanted to make him happy. I don't know how she got down this dark path. It's pretty easy when you give somebody this inexperienced power. What do you want us to do? I don't know yet, but I think if we can talk to her, she can fix this place. Nobody knows the Iron Kingdom better than she does. No! No, no, no! You're not listening to me! Kill the princess! Uh, <laughs> things took a dark turn. I guess this is what, uh, this is your comeuppance for trying to build a weird fascist society. Of course, a revolution would be what ended up doing you in. Oh wow, she's getting into it. Oh, did they just throw the goop on her? Uh, did they actually murder her? She's not there anymore. She got Thanos. What happened? Oh, dang. Did they get her? No, it wasn't the crowd. It looked like a river of slime. Oh, okay, that's good. Like in my dreams. Razmi, please. Please don't tell us about your kinks here. It's the wrong time and the wrong place. It totally absorbed her. It seemed to be dragging her off. Toward the factory, possibly? Ajna, help me save her! Please! Will do. You're gonna get all goopy, Ajna. <laughs> Razmi, please. Alright? Ugh, why is it always slime? Well, I said I'd help, so... Let's do it! Up to the factory. And that's a new character. Enter the, Iron Mouse. the notorious thief, Kampan, has turned over a new leaf. Buster Shell. Kampan's down attack loads a Buster Shell, enhancing her next attack. Kampan's one bar converts all itty and all of her action points into damage. The more you have, the more damage she'll do. That sounds interesting. She's four star attack? But she has one star HP is the only problem. I'm down for putting her in instead of Tungar, possibly. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I still want this character, he looks like a badass. 
Or she. They're in a mask, who knows? Another one of these, huh? Got any secret passages you want to tell us about? I mean, can she just punch it? Not this time. As strong as you've gotten, I imagine you could break it yourself. I ought to be able to by now. Or we could just get Compound to do it again. I bet you can't. I bet I can. Cannot. I can. I'm going to. Watch me. All right. Sky Splitter. Press up and wide to lunge upward with a fierce stab. Hey, we finally have this ability. I'm so happy. Okay. Now, what does that unlock for us, I wonder? We can get that ring cell now. I don't think we can make it over there yet. Yeah, and there's a there's a couple of ring cells that we missed up here. Hmm. Yeah, I might I, I still have to go back off screen and grab some of those. <laughs> See, Kampan? Wow. Just how strong are you? <laughs> I don't know. Her power level is over nine thousand. Well, I hope you're strong enough to take on that slime. Let's make our way through the sewers and back to the factory. I mean, slimes are like level 1 enemies in most RPGs. I'm pretty sure we got it. I wouldn't be too worried. Oh yeah, I can't do that. There we are. That was probably a little bit overkill, actually. I probably could have just hopped up with the goop. Huh. That looked like it led somewhere. Like it was going to, at least. But no, it just kind of... Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, I know. I just I just did it. It's cool, Indivisible. I got you. Oh wait, there's another one. That's why you were letting me know. Ooh, where does this go? Nowhere? Fun. Well. Uh, probably save over that 13. That was quite a bit ago. Alright, get me up. Oh, that didn't lead anywhere. What about down here? Is there a reason? There's an enemy. Hmm. Probably don't want to fight that if I can get away with it. Let's see. No, no. J just get up there. Come on. Just. Why can't you ledge grab, girl? Every other competent video game protagonist can ledge grab. What about you? Why can you not? You can do all these amazing things, but ledge grabbing? Nah. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Now I can get up here. And we can see what's up here, because this feels like a place they would have a ring cell, potentially. Or not. Oh, hey! This is a uh, Plager Gripes character. I can tell because he has the Lucerne and he looks exactly like him. You might be wondering who you are. Just pretend to be the person you wish you were. We can only hope that friends then discover the qualities you most want to see in yourself. Eventually, that will be you. Thanks, Plague. Plague gripes, everybody. He's a, uh, artist, uh, that does art and things for, uh, the best friends. The characters that created Zubaz, and that's the guy who actually made the Zubaz model that is in this game. So, fun fact, I guess. Ah! Damn it, I keep falling in that goop. I just want to see what's down there. Because it says there's things down there. Okay. Doesn't look like it really leads anywhere. I'll fight you, I guess. Yeah, we can show this one. I mean, this enemy doesn't really have that much health. It's just the fact that they can guard you. But as long as you kill them fast enough, that doesn't really matter. Oh, jeez. Whoa, excuse me? I forgot I had her instead of uh, Tungar. She seems fun. I kind of like it. Oh yeah, let's see what her... Um... <coughs> Ow. Let's see what her uh, special is. Ex what? Whoa! <laughs> That was so cool! She like, she uses everything. She uses 
everything and just destroys them. Like, absolutely annihilates an enemy. Seems like it might have- it might be single target, but I don't really mind. I can always just use uh, use Ajna for taking out groups of enemies. That's mostly what I had Tungar in the party for. So that's fun. I like her uh, special quite a lot. Have we seen... Yeah, I think we've seen Naga Rider special. We haven't seen all of them, because of course they have different level uh, specials. But yeah, that was super neat, actually. And so if you have five meters now, it's r incredibly powerful. Like, that did a lot of damage. So yeah. Kompon might be a uh, permanent member of the party. What can I say? When I when I used to play League of Legends, uh, I also really liked um, Vi, and that's basically what that character is. So I just I don't know something about girls with a big iron fist that they punch people with is cool. Hello, I'm gonna have to ask you to die for me. Yeah, she, she attacks pretty quickly, does pretty decent damage. This is a squad. This is a team right here. I like them. There we go. Let's go ahead and load that. There we go. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. But you can break. There we go. Let's go ahead and annihilate them. Punch, 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 punch. That is a really powerful attack, and incredibly versatile. Because you can use it pretty much at any point. If you only have one bar, but you have a lot of action points, you can use it to just get a big ol' attack off. Which is a neat idea. I like that a lot. So, uh, welcome, ah, uh, welcome to the team, Kampan. Tried to get that thought out a few times, it, it wasn't working. Wonder why I never get to fight those alligators. They seem like a fun enemy to fight. So wow, now we have a lot of vertical momentum when climbing. Maybe I should climb up this way. It seems safer. Because we can do that, we can do this, and we can do the, um... Stick my axe into the wall. Yeah, and that gets us all the way up here. Um... Well, let's go ahead and do that. And that, I guess? There we go. Okay, yeah. So we, I, I, I uh, shot the flowers on those so I could make sure that they were safe before I went ahead and uh, went across. Whoa! Please don't fall. There we go. Hello. Can we hit that? Doesn't seem like it. I hear Goop. I see you, Mr. Goop. Down you go. Okay, this would be a good time to have Tungar in the party. And sadly... We do not. So this might be a bit difficult of a fight. Uh, yeah, there we go. That was a pretty good attack. I mean, the main thing we need to focus on is killing these enemies before they can actually hit us at all. Because if they hit us, then we're dead. There we go, just do that. That's such a cool attack. I really enjoy that. I mean, it takes a bit, whereas Tungar's is just straight up a ton of damage to a group of enemies really quickly. But it's also fun just to try out some new characters and kind of get used to them, I guess. I just realized that was one of the, uh... crocodiles that I was talking about. We just had an encounter with. That should take you out. Oh yeah. Way overkill, but it got the job done. Yawn's pretty powerful too. Like, she's an incredible glass cannon, but... Jeez, is she powerful. Because her turns come so quickly and she just does a ton of damage. This is definitely a DPS team for sure. We have no healers or any of that jazz. 
we're all about just murder as quickly as possible. Huh. We're back here now. Oh, cool. So we'll be able to get to some of the places we couldn't before this time. I could even maybe go up there. Yeah. Well, this is useful. Because I wanted to get some of these ring cells anyway, so I may actually be able to do it on camera instead of off. I think I'll have to go back to Tai Krung to get some. Uh... Wow. Our mobility went up a lot with this new ability. Boom. Boom. Yeah. I like it. I was wondering if that was going to destroy that. Wasn't sure. Oh, wait, yeah, this is the waypoint. Yeah, we don't need that right now. But I can go up here. Because I have the ability to break goop now. And just anything above me, I suppose, is a better way to put it. Hello. Ring cell for me, please? Excuse me? What was the point of this? Huh. Why does- why does this room exist? I'm very confused by that. There's absolutely nothing in there, and it does look- I don't think I'd been in there before. Maybe I had, and I just hadn't noticed. Hmm. Yeah, this is the room where we had the fight with the Moloch. Looks like we can get up there now. And it doesn't look like I fully explored up here, so maybe there's a ring cell up here? Although there, this was a boss fight arena. I, I doubt they would be hiding collectibles in here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Hey, I filled in the map, though. Worth it. Just like to check uh, out everything, get all that I can from the different environments that we're going to. All right, how how long of a walk? Actually, right to right over here, it's a fairly short walk. Oh, you guys are different. Yeah, you're different Iron Kingdom soldiers, and you have a lot more health, actually. Can you take him out, Naga Rider? I mean, that did a pretty good amount of damage. Not anything too crazy, though. For three meters used, it wasn't too insane. And your heart. Yeah, compound's cool. Ow, ow. Please don't do that. Oh, I got a duck. Alright, I'm just gonna charge you now. There we go. Nice and dead. I wonder, if you never came this way, would you even see this enemy? Maybe it's on the critical path, but I'm not technically supposed to go this way yet. Maybe that's the case. Destroy. Ooh, I just love the wind-up at the end. The wind-up makes you know it's gonna hit really hard. You can feel it. And I love the punch, uh, followed with a, uh... Huh. Can we not get through that? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well... There was no reason to come over here. At least not yet. At least we got to see a new enemy. Even if they are just a... palette swap of another one. Up, up. Oh no. Not a conveyor belt room. I absolutely despised these and uh bloodstains. Gosh, they were awful. Especially in that game where it's you can die much, much more quickly in that game and the penalty is a lot higher than it is in this one. Jeez, I just I can't. I can't seem to do it. You know what? Let's just do this. It's probably easier. Whereas, if we do the Scallywag Spring, we have to, um... We actually have to, uh, wait for it to charge up. Which is hard to do on conveyor belts, needless to say. Anything further up? Doesn't look like- whoop. 
Hi there. I see you. No. Get off. There we go. Okay, that just makes him go the opposite way. Alright. It's an interesting thing, I guess. Maybe it'll help on the way back when we're trying to get out. Or maybe it'd switch these two. That'd be neat. I'm checking all of these nooks and crannies because I really feel like there's going to be a ring cell just hanging out in one of them at some point. Trying to catch me with my pants down, if you would. Alright, down you go. Yeah, you absolutely annihilate my health bar when I hit you, but that doesn't really matter if I just kill you before you can do anything, huh? I'll sit on one health forever. Alright, up we go, I suppose. Seems like our only option. That rising uppercut is cool. I wonder if we can get the ability to use that in... I was saying, there's a suspicious amount of light coming from there. And it looks like, yeah, I was right. Cool. More of you, huh? But you're the weaker variants, I believe. Oh, well, you still have a pretty good amount of HP. Props, I guess. Go ahead and beat him up. Is I hitting both of them? I can't tell. Maybe? I mean, this guy was low health. Huh. Is that the only line she has? She said it quite a few times already. Although maybe everybody just has one line. I haven't really been paying attention. I feel like some characters have multiple, though. Uh, no, don't walk into the lava. It's not a healthy decision. Don't want to be cooked. I think we can go for... Possibly one more save point, unless this looks like it leads to a boss. Uh, it looks like it's just more gauntlet. There we go. And what is here? What is this? We have to turn that lava off some way, I imagine. Oh, right there. Oh, look, it's more Yurinomos. I forgot, he's a character we haven't gotten yet either, and he said he wanted to help us, but he needed parts, if I remember correctly. Boom. And here we are, back up top. Can I go get that other uh, ring cell I missed now? Oh no. Whoa. It's a slime with tits. Uh, wait, that's Mary? Marriott! Don't make your attention, or you're going to defeat Carla. You have to sacrifice for that stuff. Only an idiot can't see that. Okay, so she's been absorbed by the slime and uh, gave the slime some assets, it seems. What happened to you, Mary? What's happened to me? What's happened to everyone else, more like? They can't even understand the simple logic. It's just facts. Just because you think something is true doesn't mean it's true for everyone. Well put, Ajna. How dare you? How dare you come back here after what you did to us? I'll finish you now, like I should have the first time! And boss fight. I was about to say, are we gonna hurt ourselves? Yeah. Okay, this is probably gonna be really bad, actually. Maybe I should actually see what's causing that. That's not good. Um. Yeah, this might be a fight we have to actually bring a healer into because I don't I don't think this is going to cut it. Uh yeah, I don't have very high hopes for this one, I'll be honest. I know one thing, I cannot use Kompon's ability, because if I do, I'll just kill myself. We can try to just combo her down, and keep, uh... Is this doing anything? 
Huh. Our attacks aren't working. Yep, I can see that. And I guess I'll need to figure out how to hit him even harder. Wait, do we just get a new ability? <laughs> In the middle of a boss fight, Goddess Hand. Press Y to do it. Oh, I have to like keep pressing Y? Okay, that makes more sense. Ow. We got hit pretty hard. Wow, we're gonna die. Yeah, we're, we're gonna die. The boss hit us. I didn't realize that the boss hit- Whoa. I just clean blocked every single one of those? Excuse me? Talk about being lucky. If I can do that again- Ow. I can't. I can't do that again. I was gonna say if I could do that again, I would be able to survive. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with that mechanic yet, but... Until we have a better idea... Where you at? You at the top? Yeah. Find something new? Let's let's bring a healer into the party. Did we skip this? Doesn't seem like it. Well, Mary, I mean, you lo you look okay as a slime. You got the cool horns going on. You could do with a shirt, but. Is that you in there? Yep. All right, let's just skip this. this thing is new? Yeah, it is. All right, so Jinzing is just going to kind of chill with their potion mixed and heal us whenever they can. And everyone else is gonna handle the damage. Jinzing? Wait. Oh wait, what was it? Was it up? There we go. There we go. Cool. Yeah, and that keeps everybody super, super healthy. So we can just annihilate this boss. It seems to be the only wrinkle in uh, this particular boss fight. So, nothing too crazy. There we go. Big ol' heal for everyone. Let's get one more in there just to be safe. Hmm. I'm not sure who's special I should use. Oh, yeah. Goddess hands. Oh, yeah, I can't do it yet. I gotta wait. Our aren't working. We're just gonna hit it harder. I find it interesting here that it says press Y to do it. It doesn't say press Y twice, because pressing just Y throws that, but you have to press Y twice. So that's an interesting thing to note. Ow, that actually hit me. And we're almost dead. So get in there and stir, Jinzing. There we are. A little bit healthier now. Ah, I should have used uh, Ajna's special. I didn't think about that. Oh no, Jinzing! Ooh. Okay, Jinzing almost died. That would have been horrible. But now we can heal up and everything will be good. Ooh, that looked like it did damage. Okay, that wasn't the biggest heal, but Naga Rider's still looking pretty healthy. And that's most of what we need. Okay, there we go. That's a good 5,000 HP. Wasn't ready for that to hit all of us. There's so few enemies that actually do hit the entire party that... I basically got rid of my habit of um, blocking with everyone and just never went back to it. Which I, I don't feel like is the worst thing, because spamming that when I didn't need to was a bit of a detriment. Ow. Wait, you said you were going to hit him, but you hit Ajna? Weird. Heal everybody up, and you might be able to finish it? No. Um, she probably can. No? Need a little bit of help from uh, 
the mixing bowl. Pestle and mortar. Wow. For being covered in slime, you look like you're pretty clean right now. It's basically just your normal portrait. Mary? Are you okay? Campan? What? What happened to me? There's so much slime! Oh, hey. Whoa. Hello. Excuse me. Nobody told me the robot had a giant dragon slayer sword from Berserk. What the hell? That's awesome. I thought he'd use like cannons or something. Ah! It's just Yuri Nomos. Calm down. No need for alarm. It is only I, Yuri Nomos, faithful robot friend. Thanks for fixing me up, Campan. No problem. Well, she didn't tell us she fixed you up. I believe I can explain the situation. You see, Mary's father, King Caliber, truly did request that Mary place him into that device you call the Moloch. But he was already near death, and the process was painful. Can I just say King Caliber is a badass name? I guess. I kind of blocked a lot of that out. Mary became driven to save her father, and that drive extended to a desire to save the kingdom and then the world. But at the beginning, her machines were just to help with simple tasks. That's right. I made the Moloch to defeat Kala. But eventually, I started thinking about how we could protect even more people if we governed them ourselves. I started sending my armies and... Yeah, I mean, that's the dangerous part of it. You gotta, you gotta sate your greed, make sure that stuff doesn't overflow, you know? Don't want to start taking over the entire world saying you want to protect them. But hey, look, you, you're you're accepting that, and that's the important thing. Slime was a byproduct of the Moloch's creation, but this sentience and its control over Mary, that I cannot explain. Some smart slime. It was Kala. Kala? But how? I just know. The slime took you over at a moment of weakness. It's what she would do. <sighs> I was weak, all right. <gasps> I'm so stupid. You can't solve everything with engineering. You need humans, people coming together. Machines are just a way to help that along. Hey, Yuri Nomos is a good boy. Ugh, I don't deserve to be saved. Just leave me here in the slime. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's no reason to cry, really. <laughs> you can leave me here in the slime, too. Razmi, not the time, once again. But Mary, if you die, who will lead the country? I also feel the need to point out there's no slime around us currently, so I'm not sure what slime you're talking about. Now don't ask me. You, you could do it. Wait, listen to me for a second. Recently, I did something unforgivable. I hurt the people around me. A lot. But I'm working hard to prove to them that I can change. I am changing. You need to do the same. But how? Lead the people again. Fix this in your own way. Prove to them you're worthy of leading them. Do it for the people, not for yourself. It'll take a lot to make this right. And they'll hate you, and they won't trust you for some time. But it'll be worth it. That's true. If you prove you're a good leader, and hell, even if you don't prove you're a good leader, Sometime down the line, people would appreciate the things that you did, as long as you're doing the right things. Okay. Um, what should I do? I'll listen to the people. I'll only turn to technology when it solves a problem they want to solve. That sounds like a good start. And I'll start by cleaning up all the slime. By myself, if I have to. There you go. Humility. N no. <laughs> Rest me. We can we can get a bucket for you to take home. Can we get a to-go box of the slime, please? I'll help. No, you have more important things to do. You should go with Ajna. With the Moloch destroyed, she's the only one that can beat Kala. Can we have the badass giant sword wielding robot too, please? We've both got important jobs, you and me, and yours is out there. But who will help you, Mary? 
I would be more than happy to advise the young lady. Oh, uh, 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 you see, we really need you, though. I mean, you're experienced with the whole taking down Kala thing, you know, it would be really helpful if you came too. Well, that settles that. Thanks, Yuri Nomos. Mary, you'd better fix this place up nice. Damn it, Ajna, you're really messing up my, uh, dream here. I On the list. Kanu. You, ca you can't just send a giant robot wielding a massive sword like that and dangle it in front of my face and not let me have it, alright? It's illegal. It should not happen. Also, did I... I wonder if there was... oh no. What if there were things to the right? I just knew this ring cell was over here, I didn't realize how far of a drop it was. I don't think I can get back up there that way, though. I might have been a bit hasty there. Yeah, maybe just a bit. Nah, no, not even close. Oh well. We have 15 now, so we can at least turn those in to get a defense upgrade. Also realized I've been playing this for quite a while now. Maybe we should, uh, go ahead and get to a save point. This is probably a bit long of a video. Alright! Oh wait, yeah, let's go into the inner realm and go ahead and turn in our stuff, I guess. Also, I haven't talked to a lot of the characters in here. Maybe I should do that at some point. Hark. Yeah. Wow, what an incredibly interesting conversation. Really, what did I expect with the dog, though? Alright, buddy. Never actually asked, why does... Oh, wait, it was ten ring cells? Whoops. Whoops. Okay, okay, you know what? My mistake. I'll own- th I'll- I'll take that L. As it were. Alright. Well, this now looks like a good spot to go ahead and end this episode off with our new character, Kampan. So, I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.